Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter Vlog. I'm coming to you today in the middle of my super messy craft room to open this super exciting package with you guys. Now, you've probably already seen it in the title of this video, although I have no clue how I'm going to call this video. But I'm coming to you with a letter writing paper subscription! <laughs> um, now, I have been doing these Pip Sticks uh, unboxings and Paper Gang unboxings. I did one just the other day. It's a beauty this time. I, that is also going to be on my channel soon. Um, so I've been doing Pip Sticks and Paper Gang unboxings for a while. I really, really enjoy those. I enjoy not only the mystery effect of them, like the mystery part of them, but I also just enjoy like seeing how everyone likes different items. Um, but one of the comments that kept coming back was Vivian is there not or do you know of any snail mail subscription and sadly i did not because i've been googling this and i've been looking at this and there are a few like happy mail related um subscriptions out there but most of them are for postcards and honestly i have a box filled with postcards and i rarely use them but none specific for letter writers until someone I'm sorry I forgot your name but someone left a comment on one of my videos saying have you checked out La La Papiri I am so sorry if I pronounce this if I pronounce this wrong I've had French in um, high school but I just I think it's La Papiri <laughs> although it could also be La Papier, but okay. Someone said, have you heard of this uh, stationary subscription service from Canada? They do a letter writing subscription. So obviously I kind of freaked out. <laughs> I kind of freaked out. Okay, sorry, I have to, like, I have these two packages on my lap. I don't know why I kept them on my lap, but I had like a little bit of an intermission here. I was in charge of the cat cafe all week, so I didn't have a chance to film unboxing videos and I was kind of doubting like which one am I gonna open first so I also have this happy meal from my pen pal Amelia I kind of wanted to do that on camera because I know it's going to be amazing and I have this other exciting package which I will tell you more about in a separate video I just have to move them aside but okay I was obviously super excited because hello I'm a letter writer enthusiast I don't know, do I have to explain why I'm enthusiastic about this? I don't think so. So, um, I put that on my to-do list to kind of look into that because I was on a no spend, okay? So I kind of postponed that for a little bit and then I looked into it and I found out two things that I find absolutely amazing about this subscription. The first being that you get six different letter writing paper sets every month you can cancel whenever you want that's also kind of amazing and the second thing i really was like a really big plus to me is that their shipping costs are very 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 okay like usually when i would find a snail mail or a happy mail or a stationary subscription service the shipping costs for me being a person in the netherlands which is in europe the shipping costs would usually be like half or even the same cost as the subscription itself but this one i don't know by heart how much it is but for me it was so okay it was like two euros or something which is very very cool and now i can hear you thinking vivian why the hell are you still talking can you please unbox this can you start opening this but i still have some more things to tell you okay <laughs> because it's going to get even cooler because what i decided to do is um well you may or may not have realized that i have quite the platform here with people who love writing letters so for the first time in my life i decided to reach out to this company to these two lovely ladies who run this subscription service i decided to reach out to them and tell them a little bit about who i am and what i do 
and ask them if they wanted to do some sort of a collaboration with me because I'm not asking for free stuff I would never ask for free stuff but I do know that we could probably mean quite a lot to each other seeing how my entire channel is about pen pal mail and their entire goal is to reach people who like pen pal mail so I contacted them I told them that I wanted to pay for my own subscription because when I pay for something it means that I am, um, how do you say that? I'm authentic, I think. I will, I don't know, sometimes when I watch these YouTubers do unboxings of things they received for free, it can feel a little bit fake, you know, because they're like in collaboration with the brand, so they're obviously not going to say anything negative about them, but that's why I'm paying for this myself, but I asked them like, hey, I think I can actually um, tell a lot of people about your service so is there maybe something we can do in the future and then they said yes oh my god i'm so excited and <laughs> they said yes um what we're going to do is basically when you sign up for this subscription service there is a form at the end which asks you hey how did you learn of our video of oh, how did you learn of our video? how did you learn of our subscription and then when you guys write vivian from the paper letter blog they're go going to keep count and then if I get a few of you to sign up I can get a little reward which will probably be um, same as with the paper gang and pip sticks if I, re if I um, refer a few of you to their stationary subscription I get a month for free so I was really really excited about that I think this will be a very healthy collaboration because I'm already super excited and I think they are too which is really, really cool. And what I also really like about this is that I'm actually the first YouTuber to unbox these uh, letter writing papers, yay! <laughs> so I have a little bit of a, I don't know, something new. So long story short, I paid for this myself. Um, we might work together in the future. I will let you know more about that when it happens. But for now, I'm going to give you my honest opinion, but I am a little bit influenced because the two ladies who run this company seem so lovely and so kind and um, we've been emailing back and forth a little bit and <laughs> I'm just really excited about letter writing paper, okay? So I am a little bit biased but not much. Now you can see me with my scissors, I'm actually gonna open this but there's one more thing I have to say and that is that I ordered the June letter writing paper pack i don't know the, the subscription i ordered that but they said that they would also include a few goodies for me for free so i think there might be some different letter writing papers in here that are from a different set like a different month i guess um so i don't know exactly what is in here i also don't know what the this month's papers are going to look like because it is of course a surprise every month and one last thing i have to say is that if you uh, subscribe to their channel you get like six designs each month but you can also order the individual papers you like on their etsy store oh my gosh oh this is so cute okay wait oh this is really cute first of all she wrote me a handwritten note that's really cute. She says, hello Vivian, I'm so glad that you discovered our monthly stationary subscription service. I know you only signed up to receive paper, but we wanted you to sample our envelopes as well. Oh, that's really sweet. We are sending you our current stationary bundle, the one with the mermaid, as well as our previous one. Enjoy, Julie. Okay, so that's good. Um, so I have the, the June pack and the May one, I think. And then this is my referral card if you subscribe. Mention that you were referred to by, and then it says my last name, but I'm covering that up. Um, I'm covering that up. I'm going to ask them if it's okay for you guys to uh, refer to me by Vivian from the Paper Letter blog or the Paper Letter blog or something like that. Because I try to keep my last name kind of pri private. I know some people know my last name, but I don't know. Uh, and then they have like a little um, business card. So it says, original subscription service for letter writers. Thank you for subscribing to the SSS. We hope you enjoy your selection of stationery and keeps you inspired to write all, right, all month long. And then, oh yeah, I almost forgot to tell you about this. She also has like a blog 
and you can join um, a kind of an online pen pal community, which I think is really cool. It's called League of Extraordinary Pen Pals, www.extraordinarypenpals.com. That's really cool. I will link that down below as well. And then this is like, should I do the, the June first or the May one first? Oh my gosh, I can already see some sneak peeks that I love. I'm gonna do the May one first. You know, I'm gonna do it in chronological order. Um, because uh, I don't know. And so this one was gifted to me and this one I paid for myself. And Okay, so there's like a really cute message on, front, on the front of both of these. Um, I hope you can read that. I'm not going to read it all out loud, although I think it's really, really cute. But there's like a little message for me to read. And then, oh, I can see this, the uh, envelopes as well. So with this, is, like when I signed up for this, you have a few options that you can choose from. Basically, you get six designs each month. And then you can choose for um, six designs 12 papers so two of each six designs 24 papers so four of each and six designs i don't know 48 i think i don't know by heart so you can choose like you get all the subscriptions get the same amount of designs you just get multiple papers which i like because i always write long letters so i need multiple papers and then you can do an add-on of the envelopes which i have here as well i'm really excited about that okay so first design i absolutely love already we have these succulents i have to say this is i think it's slightly smaller than a5 it's a different size to what i'm used to let me see if i can find yeah so it's like i don't know if this is a standard size in the usa but for me whoops I'm used to writing on A5 sized paper and this is like slightly slimmer. Am I saying that correctly? It's a little bit different in size, but that's totally okay. I just wanted to point that out. I don't know because it's kind of difficult to see on the camera. Should I pick up the matching envelope? Oh my God. <gasps> okay, so we have this on. It's adorable. I kind of like that actually. I thought I would, because I always like making my own envelopes, I thought I wouldn't do the add-on of the envelopes but now i'm kind of regretting it because these are kind of cute um so we've got an envelope with again the same design and the same design that's really cute this is already my new favorite letter writing paper oh, sorry you guys i'm a little bit tired <laughs> but okay so we've got this adorable set which will be perfect for writing the paper is one-sided um but i'm probably going to write on the back as well it feels kind of nice. It's not too thin. I think it's thicker than my other writing paper, but it feels really, really nice. I'm actually very excited. And then the next design I can see already. I think if I'm saying that correctly, um, you should be able to get these on their Etsy store now. I don't get anything for referring you to their Etsy store. I just think that's kind of cool. And then we have this adorable green paper with the hedgehog. I mean, how cute is this little guy? <laughs> like I'm feeling so awkward talking to the camera right now. I don't know why probably because I haven't done it in like a week and a half But the next one is this adorable green Writing paper with this cute little hedgehog I feel like we have to name him if you had to name the hedgehog. What would you name him? I think it would be like Harry or something Harry the hedgehog. He reminds me a little bit of Harry from One Direction <laughs> I don't know, I'm a little bit random today. And I, actually, this is going to sound very weird, but what I like about this as well, like it's only single-sided, but when I flip it over, I can still see the lines. That's like a really weird thing to say, but I kind of like that I can still like really faintly see the lines so that when I write on the back, I'm not gonna go completely lopsided. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but if you're a letter writer, if you are a letter writer, you will probably understand why I like that. So this is the next design. Let me see if I can pick up all oh, butterflies. Let me see if I can pick up the, oh, oops. Where are you? Oh, oh and it has like a little, um, how do you call that? Like a little blank space for the address, which is so cute. Oh, I really like that hedgehog. I'm like, I have a thing for hedgehogs now. I follow like a ton of hedgehogs on Instagram. Call me crazy, but there's some really cute hedgehogs on Instagram, okay? So this is really cute. And what I also like about this, like, a little bit random, but what I also like about this is that they are, the envelope is like a different size from our standard sized envelopes. 
for some reason I like those kind of things. <laughs> like when you're a letter writer, when you write letters, you will start appreciating all these different things. I'm completely forgetting my coffee. Mm. Okay, I already saw this when I was looking at the envelope, but this is so cute. I think I'm going to like all of them. Uh, like when I started with this one, I said this was my favorite. But this one might also be my favorite. We've got these little butterflies in the corner. They remind me vaguely of like Maggie Holmes, which is my favorite paper uh, collection maker. I don't know, paper designer. <laughs> I'm really random today. And it's really pretty. I love this color. I also quite like that the background of these papers are colored as well. Like most of my paper has a white background. This one, by the way, if you're interested, this one is from Little Lefty Lou. <laughs> um, she's a Dutchie as well, so I thought I, you know, I would support my uh, my Dutch uh, Dutch companies. Um, and, I, and again, four designs, of course. And that's really cute. I don't know what else to say about it, but this is really me. I like immediately when I'm looking at these letter writing. I cannot speak today. Immediately when I'm looking at these writing papers, I shouldn't say letter writing papers. Immediately when I'm looking at these papers, that also makes sense with me. And I'm already picturing which pen pal I'm going to. Um, write letters to on these papers like I immediately know this one I don't know if she still watches my videos but Jenny this one I might use for a letter to you because that's so us <laughs> and then let me find the corresponding envelope oh that's really cute so this is the corresponding envelope I love that the, the back is designed as well really cute that's really cute I'm, I'm actually thinking of, of upgrading to get the, the corresponding envelopes as well Oopsie. And then this is flipped. Oh, we've got little bunnies. Okay, so first thing I immediately love about this is like the watercolor kind of design. This is like my favorite color combination, the green and the blue. Like all of them have a lot of green. I think maybe blue and green is their favorite color combo as well. If you watch my videos, you know that I usually don't opt for the like the animal designs like I would if I had to choose between succulents and animals or bunnies I would choose the succulents always but even so this is still really cute <laughs> I have to admit the bunnies do make me smile <laughs> so we've got four of those and then the next one wow this is like an artsy immediately know which pen pal I'm going to use this for immediately know this one is more like a vintage looking kind of artsy style this has like a hand with a botanical drawing on it really really cool a little bit again a little bit less my style than the other ones but that's totally fine because that, but that's like the fun of this subscription as well like you get enough to write your letter on but even if there's a design that you like a little bit less you only have four sheets so you're going to uh, run out really quickly oh I forgot the envelopes we've got this one for the bunny oh my god I'm so excited this one for the bunny which is really cute and it has the pretty watercolors on the back as well. I really like the upside down one. That's really me. That's me. If I was a bunny, I would be the upside down one. And then this is the one. Ooh, that's pretty though. This is the one that is um, corresponding with this letter writing paper. Like this paper. Vivian, stop saying letter writing paper. You're going to trip. This is really pretty though. I do have to say it's growing on me. And then I think this is the last one, which is probably, oh, that's cute. Okay, focus. This is also really me. Um, you know, I love botanicals. We've got these little leaf designs all around the page. There's a little bit less space to write than the other ones, I think. Like the other ones have more lines, but that's okay. If you want to write like a short note, this is really, really cute. And then what I love about the envelope is first of all the back. I mean, yeah, that's cute. But I also love this. Please deliver to. This is a beautiful font. I quite like that. So this is the last one from May. So we've got like a double unpacking. That's really cool. That's really, really cute. And then we've got this one for June. And we're going to have like a summer themed pack if I can um, judge by the looks of it. Oh, I think, oh, this one also has envelopes. Yay. <laughs> we've got a summer themed Note. I'm going to read these afterwards because that is kind of cute, you know, like a little personalized note. Uh, and I'm just going to get straight into unpacking these. I'm not going to flip it over because there's a different design on the back. I don't want to spoil it. Where are we? 
Okay, first of all, we've got Little Mermaid. Seek magic every day, which is really cute. Again, mermaids is something I would usually pass on, but I'm not complaining about this because what I also really like about this is that it has, like, Contrary to the previous one, this has so much space for writing a letter. I like that. That's a big plus for me. So we've got this one. And even if like Mermaids isn't my style, I know tons of pen pals who are going to love this. So I'm going to either write a letter on this or I'm going to gift it to someone else. I could, of course, also do that. Oh, that's so cute. And then we've got this envelope and this has the mermaid on the back. Seek magic every day. But it's different. It has a little turtle on the front which i actually really love i actually like the envelope better than the writing paper but it's quite the cute set then we're going to the next one. Oh, it's also like summer th um water themed we've got an um, oh shoot is this called an orca is it called an orca in dutch i think it might be an orca in english i think it might be an orca so we've got an orca with like a ton of space on the top which for like longer if you're going to write longer letters on two papers you don't really need that space on the top but what i do like about a lot of space is that you can make like a really pretty uh, introduction like dear pen pal or you can write do like excuse me the only thing is if you write two page letters then you're going to have a ton of space um that's kind of wasted but then again you do have a lot of space on the sides as well so definitely not a complaint i'm just like always giving my opinion i don't know if anyone cares but that's just how i do all of these videos so i'm gonna do that with this as well and then where's the magic envelope hmm? oh yeah this one <laughs> i had a little bit of a sneak peek um this is the magic envelope we've got the orca i think again but it's so cute i really like this like um wavy design very cute and then oh we've got a little bikini like a swimsuit wow i almost lost the word there a little swimsuit and sunglasses combo with like a pool design on the back this one i have to say i think from this set this one is my favorite so far i think it's kind of like almost vintagey but really really cute and then I also like that they're like changing up between lines and now we've got a grid design and then we've got the matching envelope yes oh that's cute what I <laughs> and so far what I also really like about this is how all of them are totally different in style so we've got four of these like I said I did order the 24 paper uh, set so I got six designs and then four of each and then of course they gifted me an envelope which I think is very sweet I quite like that and then we're going on to the next set oh we've got a little rabbit oh I think I've seen this one before because I've got these like okay I don't know if you're watching Pajakta but if you are isn't this like this bunny also in your sticker set I think that's really cute We've got a little meal delivery guy, like a postman bunny. That's really sweet. I quite like that. I have to say, like again, the bunny, not really my thing, but the fact that he's delivering meal makes it so much cuter. So we've got this little, I also really like this blue. Like it's like a little bit of an ombre color blue. So even though these are all water, themed and these this one is obviously not water themed but it still has that kind of matching color so i could even use these together and then we're going to look at the envelope oops no there we go oh for an envelope that's so adorable so we've got this little set which i love and then i saw something that i am so excited about i also have the matching envelope already we've got a cat and house plant themed paper um i think from all of these this one describes me the most i love house plants and i love cats so this paper is basically me the me on a letter writing paper <laughs> that's really cute i also know who i'm going to use this paper for oh gosh i'm going to have no paper left at the end of this month but then again i'm going to probably subscribe for many many more months to come this is really cute i really like that and i also like that i think 
Like, I don't know if it's just me, but I always notice these completely random things that I will be excited about, such as the fact that these lines are like a little bit of a turqu turqu turquoise. Am I saying that correctly? A little bit of a bluish green color as well, which is like my favorite color. So that makes me very happy. And then we've got the envelope to match. And then this is the last one of this month. Oh my gosh, we've got a little hippo. A hippo in like a beach chair which is absolutely adorable i think i'm going to have to take it back i said that animal themed letter writing paper isn't really my thing but i have to say they kind of convinced me and this is kind of cute <laughs> and then again i like the please deliver too i wonder if they do like one of those each month but this one is really cute it says please deliver too and then we've got like a little pink address box and then a little bit of a beach theme again we've got the beach and the waves i'm kind of sad that it's over i want to do this <laughs> like all day <laughs> um okay so obviously i've given my opinion throughout this video you may or may not um <laughs> be not so surprised to hear that i'm excited about this i love every single paper i have received i love how everything is different i love how i immediately think of different pen pals who have completely different styles when I see these um, letter writing papers. I think it's so sweet that they gifted me not only the May pack as well, so that I get like a more, a broader impression of their papers, but also they gifted me some of the envelopes, which I think is really cool. <laughs> I talked so much, I filled up an SD card. <laughs> I promise the next video will be more will be shorter and more to the point but i just i don't know just had to get back into this um oh yeah i was saying that i of course want to know who of you are going to subscribe but i also want to know um which one which design is your favorite for me in general um i like all of the designs i have to say the may or this pack is more my style than this pack but that's totally okay because same as with the paper gang it's going to be different each and every month, which is part of the fun as well. My favorite design, I think it is between the butterfly one and the succulent one. These two are like my favorites. Although, okay, maybe the cat and the house plants one is also on my list. <laughs> so for me, it makes a lot of sense to subscribe to this service. I might have to upgrade in the future to uh, receive more than four pieces of paper because I usually my letters can be quite long but I wanted to test this out first and see how I do and even I even have to see if I like this paper I mean you never know I mean obviously I love the designs but I wanted to test it out before I ordered like 48 pieces of uh, paper <laughs> so yes for me it's a definite definite yes I'm going to test this paper. I'm going to let you know like the quality as well because I, I love writing with fountain pens and I have these gel pens from Arteza that I showed you a little while ago that are very nice. I will see if they don't bleed, but I think like if I can judge by the way they feel, I think this is good writing paper for me. It's not too thin. Okay, like a long story short, I hope you enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed opening all of this. I mean, it's like, this is the those subscription services are like opening a little gift to yourself each month it's so much fun i can definitely recommend it although the downside is that you never know what you're going to get so you might also get things that you do not like but for me so far so good of course for me also a huge thank you to julie and denise from la papierie or la papier let's be honest we're kind of going extinct we need more people to write letters and i think you guys are doing a great job at helping that dying art stay afloat a little bit longer so <laughs> i'm going to enjoy writing a ton of letters this month um and i hope you guys do too okay i'm going to stop this video here before it gets an hour long i hope you enjoyed this don't forget to give it a thumbs up let me know in a comment down below if you want me to do more of these videos although 
I'm going to be honest with you, if all of you say no, I'm probably still going to do them because I enjoy them so much myself. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!